my name is Amanda and welcome to another one of my vlog tutorials. So in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to make this lovely X plus block. Now in my opinion I think that this block is so super simple and quick and easy to piece together that it is great for any level of quilter to give a go and have fun making. So in this tutorial I go through all of the steps on how to make all of the different elements that make up the block and then how to combine them all together to then finish the block. As always you will find all of the measurement and cutting instructions down in the description box below just in case you don't catch them as I sort of ramble them off during the tutorial. So let's get into it. This is how you make the super simple X plus block. To make this block you will need to cut four four and a half inch squares from a main fabric, eight two and a half inch squares from a background fabric, one two and a half by six and a half rectangle and two two and a half inch squares from a second main fabric and then four two and a half inch squares from a contrasting fabric. Starting with the eight two and a half inch squares, mark a line through the middle on the wrong side of each one with a ruler and lead pencil. Take one and evenly place it into a corner of one of the four and a half inch squares, right sides facing and pin it into place. Then take another smaller square and evenly place and pin it into the opposite corner. At the sewing machine, carefully sew on top of the pencil line, starting with one square and finishing with the opposite. Then with a ruler and blade, trim off both of the corners, leaving behind a quarter inch seam allowance. To finish the unit, press out each of the corner square triangles with a medium to hot steamy iron. Then repeat the same set of steps so that you end up with four of these units. Next, pair two of the contrasting fabric squares with the two squares cut from the second main fabric. Flip over and evenly square up each of these pairs and then pin them together. Sew a quarter inch seam along the edge of one pair and then carefully feed through the other. Then press each pair open towards the darker side of fabric. Set these aside and then pair up the rectangle piece with the last two contrasting squares. Again flip them over and evenly square up each one before pinning them into place. Sew a quarter inch seam down one side and then the other. Then gently press the seams again towards the darker side of fabric. Next, lay each of the units for the block into this design. Make sure that the X units are all facing inwards and that the pair of squares units are placed the correct way to create the center cross design. To complete the rows, start by flipping over the pair of squares in the top row to the left. Evenly square the units up and then pin them into place. Sew a quarter inch seam along the pinned edge and then press the seam inwards towards the two squares. Lay the row back into place and then flip the other unit on top, pinning them evenly together. Sew another quarter inch seam down the pinned side and then press it inwards towards the centre of the row. After repeating the same set of steps to piece the bottom row together, flip the middle row over on top of it. After ensuring all of the edges are evenly matched up with one another, pin the top edge into place. Take the rows to the sewing machine and sew another quarter inch seam along the pinned edge. Then press the seam inwards towards the middle row. Lastly, flip the top row of the block over into place, evenly aligning the two centre square pairs with each other. Pin the edge into place and then sew one last quarter inch seam down this side. Press the seam inwards towards the middle row and then give the block a good final press. Then to finish the block, trim and square it up so that its final measurement is about 10.5 inches squared. So 
as always, please let me know if you're going to give this block a go. And of course, if you do make it, please send me a photo of your finished block. I would love to see how it turns out for you. You can find all of the details of where to find me and share with me your photos down in the description box below. So with my finished block, I am actually planning on making this into a very simple cushion cover, which I will be filming and then editing it into a tutorial to show you next weekend. So I hope you're excited to see that and maybe give you some ideas of what to do with all of your finished blocks if you are making them along with me. And so with that, friends, thank you all so much for watching and hope to see you another time very, very soon. Bye.